What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Power Wash Simulator. Uh, I'm back at the Gnome Fountain and we're only gonna we're gonna work on this a little bit at a time. I've I've cleaned up some of the top there and started working my way down. So everything that's left now is just like what's within range. And I think what I'm gonna do is start by cleaning the rest of this bottom bowl and working my way up. And then uh, you know, maybe maybe I'll work on doing some uh, you know, cleaning up some of the gnomes. But for right now, we're just going to clean out this bottom, uh, this bottom bowl. And let's just do this a section at a time. So it's, it, it's going to take a little while. Uh, this is another one of those, like, kind of like the fire station, where I feel like I've been working on this for like 10 episodes. <laughs> Plus, I don't have, like, these are, this is a challenge level. So you don't get to use, like, what you've got in the regular game. Like, you can't use your heavy-duty power washer on this. you got to use the medium-duty one. Well, pretty much you just... you got to use what they provide you. But I guess my money and stuff carry over so I could buy uh, soap if I wanted to. But in a game called... Power Wash Simulator. I mean, you, why would you want to... It's not called Clean Everything with Soap Simulator. No, you want to use the Power Washer. We don't need soap. <laughs> oh, that sounds so bad. So what's this guy do? He just sandblasts everything with water? No, he power washes it. No sand needed. Just gotta find the little scraps of dirt that I missed. Yeah, all this, all that. There's so many, so many people. Whoa, what are you doing? Oh, you're part of the gnome. You're not part of the bowl. I guess we can take. Yeah, there we go. All that little tricky dirt over there. Come on now, there, I literally cleaned this entire little section. Nope. Any minute now. Is it because of you? There we go. So I just tried Taco Bell's... Uh, Cantina chicken tacos. They're, at, at least at my uh, store, the number 11. Uh, it's... Guys, it's pretty good. The The sauce is like... I thought they were bringing back like the uh, original like green salsa verde sauce. I still got a pack here. They give you like too many. Too many of them. But it's like... It's not... The only way I could describe... like It was good, but the salsa... Like the original salsa verde was like almost a gel I, I don't know how what how else to describe it but this one's like a creamy like a creamy avocado almost it's really good but I used to call uh <laughs> I used to call the original like green packs like the green salsa verde whenever I would use it bug juice because it literally it looked like <laughs> it looked less appetizing than what it actually was like the original Salsa Verde was really, really good. Uh, it was that one I liked, and they had another one, I think it was called Border Salsa, and that one was really good, too. I wish they'd bring uh, that back as well. But, I mean, we're talking, we got, we still got some, like, prime Taco Bell things going on here. So I can't be too upset about that. So, I was also, uh, also a little sad, uh, I went to the Taco Bell, instead of getting, like, a regular drink, I wanted to get, um, I wanted to get their Cinnabon coffee, but the guy behind the counter told me that, I guess they stopped, uh, doing the coffee, and I don't know if that's just a locational, like, a specific location thing, or, 
it could be like because I know Taco Bell rotates their menus out so often and things that you enjoy are only on the menu for a little while and then they rotate it out. So it's possible that the uh, the Cinnabon coffee isn't part of the uh, menu anymore. But it's funny because la like just last week I got a Cinnabon coffee and it's so funny how like things like they come and go before you even uh, notice. Come on. There's... Okay. Yeah, it's... you. It's those little, uh... Little smudges on there. Alright, but hey, we're getting... We're getting through this, uh, bottom bowl here. But what about you guys? What do you guys think of Taco Bell? You like Taco Bell? I... I am a huge fan of Taco Bell. Now, I couldn't help noticing that the fountain seems covered in a lustrous variety of moss, lichen, and algae. Three of my favorite things to find on a wall. I don't know if that's actually lichen or lichen. Or lichen. Naturally, moss sits on the throne. Lichen second, algae third. Although, I do see still have time for algae. Earl does, too. Sometimes I see him have a nibble as he passes the restrooms. <laughs> Come on, now. Least favorite thing to find on a wall, graffiti. Y you know what? That's... That's something I, I, I can, uh... Well, I guess I can't say I can relate to it, but, like, I mean, I, I agree. Like, you... I wouldn't want to find someone, like, spray-painted on the side of my house. Or, you know, any of my property or anything like that. So, I, I can understand. I can understand. Let's just keep power washing away. Like, we're feeling good. We're in a good mood. And we're just taking our time with this one. We'll get through it eventually. And then, uh... <laughs> It's like, I, I promise, like, I will eventually, I will eventually uh, complete the main story of this game. <laughs> Come on. How long will it take? I don't know. Uh, this just seems to be one of my, this seems to be a popular game on my channel. You know, when I'm on this channel. I know in the past couple of... I missed one? In the past couple of months, I've kind of been quiet on this channel, but I'm trying to get back into it. Like... Oh, there we go. Oh, thank you. Like, I come and check on it every, uh... I come and check on it every so often. I've been doing another channel, and it's just kind of been tough balancing you know, two two channels, even though, like, oh, it's just, I'm just playing video games, and wh why is it, you know, tough to balance that? It's... Guys, I'm kind of lazy. I hate to say it, but... I'm just kind of lazy. And on top of that, you know, the other channel I've been doing, uh, it, I've had... I've had this channel for... How long? 2011, 2012, I think I started it. And, I, you know, I post here. I was posting pretty regularly for a while, and I post here on occasions now. And I just cracked over 100 subscribers, which I'm, I am excited for. So, like, thank you guys. Like, that's incredible. 100 subscribers on this channel. I, I couldn't, like, I'm so happy for it. But, like, I've also, like, the other channel I've started... Uh, within less than a year, 
I am already over 500. I'm like, wow, this other channel's growing very fast. I mean, for me at least, because that's the fastest growing channel I've ever had. And that's also, like, the first channel I've had that's cracked 200 subscribers. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is, you know, what are we going to do? I got to start uh, preparing and, you know, figuring out how, uh, you know, this channel's going to go, like, what direction it's going to go. Now, I was talking about the second channel. I guess this channel, too. It's like, what am I going to do on this channel now? What happens if the other one takes off? Well, I still like to try and play video games, uh, obviously. But just, you know, things get uh, things get busy. And you, sometimes I feel like, you know, you got to follow... You got to follow the more uh, lucrative, uh, lucrative path, uh, I guess. You know, because I've been, I've been following this one. I mean, this is a, you know, just follow what you enjoy, right? And I've been doing that. I enjoy this. And I'm trying to pursue this. I'm trying to follow it. But doing, uh, following what you enjoy and doing what you love just, it doesn't always seem to pay the bills. And I know a lot of people are, you know, people will say, you know, oh, you're doing it all for money. No, no, I'm not. I'm not monetized like that. I'm not. I'm not the one plastering the ads on this video. Uh, any ads you see are strictly like, that's a YouTube thing, not a me thing. So any ads you're watching on the channel, they're not. They're not from me. I. I wouldn't turn down any kind of revenue if YouTube offered it to me, especially like, hey, that's uh, that's gonna help me, you know, buy new games and continue to make content for everyone. But I do that. I'm doing the video games like literally for the fun of it. There are so many video game channels out there, guys. Like there really are. The chances of my channel blowing up? I don't think so. I got a small audience. I'm happy. I'm, I'm entertaining, I'm, I mean, I'm not very entertaining, like, I am far from entertaining, uh, but if I'm entertaining people watching this channel, then I'm happy with that. You know, you get, if you guys, uh, you you need a break from what's going on, you need a break from, like, your everyday life, you just want to relax, watch some Power Wash Simulator episodes, I got you. We'll have a good time. We'll we'll power wash uh we'll power wash all this grime off of these uh off of these these ledges here. I don't even know. I don't even know if this is working on the uh, bottom or the outside edge there. But yeah, see, you just power wash your troubles away. Definitely got to work on these, uh, these gnome guys here. But, yeah. There we go. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to... I'm not going to do all of these in one episode. Uh, I'm trying to keep them a little shorter. I'd do some long ones here and there. But if I could keep them a little shorter... That way, they're, you could watch them in uh, more manageable chunks, I guess. Because I know, I know people get busy. I know it's busy. And a lot of people don't have a lot of time to sit here and watch a two-hour long video of me trying to wash a single gnome. Can I get... Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got some little grimies underneath you. Oh, yeah, we got you in the back here, too. Oh. Got him. 
But, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this one. We, we set out, we accomplished what we wanted to do, and that's clean the rest of this inside bowl. Uh, I think maybe for the next one we might find, uh, we might do the fire truck, or we might continue cleaning some of these gnomes. But that's going to do it for uh, today, guys. So if you like what you're seeing, hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Till then, take it easy.